Bench thoughts. Hey. Oh my god. What oh, way is this? Do you fuck me? Oh, this is heavy. I want to. To. Oh my god, that guy's taking my weight. No, my weight, my weight. No, no, my asshole kind of itches, man. Oh, these headphones. Oh, I nearly missed it. Jesus Christ. Bench thoughts. Hey. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> so today we're gonna do something new again. Uh, I hope you guys like it. But first, um, I saw this new monster, and all YouTubers are monsters. <laughs> so I felt like having a monster. So I thought I'd give a taste test, just for the fuck of it. If you don't give a fuck, and don't watch, but let's crack this shit open because I really wanted it. And it's a really nice day, and I feel ill as hell still. So let's roll. Eh, it's okay, yeah, 4 out of 10. So, basically today's video is going to be all about bench pressing. A lot of people don't know much about bench pressing, they don't know where to put their hands, they don't know what to do with their bench press. So, today we're going to talk about just how you do it and it's gonna be, there's going to be a series over a few weeks. It's not consecutive weeks, but it's space them out and just explain bench press. So today we're going to concentrate on why people arch the back. So. Let's get rolling. So basically, the reason why people arch the back is, let's go with this two types. There's the there's a bodybuilding bench press is what people call it, a bodybuilding bench press and a powerlifting bench press. Again, in the comments. But the bar, bar, as you see in the video, it goes like a J. It's not a straight path. It's not straight. It's a J. You push up. You go in a J motion. Yeah, basically the bodybuilding bench press is your back's flat. Your back's flat on the bench. You know, no arch, no nothing, and this it's just just all chest. But the bar path, as you see in the video, it goes like a J. It's not a straight path. It's not straight. It's a J. You push up. You go in a J motion. Yeah. But on the other hand, a powerlifting bench press. Well, how how you how you how you actually stay on the bench? You arch your back, and you you you, t you literally like tense your body. So your bench press actually involves literally all your body. You can feel it in your core, you feel it in your quads, feel it in your hamstrings. Everything is just ready, and the bar pass straight straight up. You want to fire that weight up as fast as you can, lock it, wait for your command, and then wrap. Well, last thing, I know what you're thinking. So which one should I do? Honestly, it's up to you. For the advanced lifters out there, I know they're thinking, I don't need all this information, this is just bench press, I don't want to do But a lot of people out there just don't know how to bench, they're doing it wrong, they don't know that there's more than one type of bench, style to bench, and they don't know why people arch. Whichever one works best for you, from my recommendation, I don't think having a flat back emphasizes more on your chest. I feel that I'm more unconventional, I'm not ready for my bench, I get on the bench and I just lie down and I just, you know, like, half ass my reps, pussy out and just... I'm not as strong as I should be on the bench press and you don't want to be weak you don't want to be weak on your bench press because when people ask you what you do in the gym they go what do you bench how much do you bench how much can you bench and if you can't bench big numbers you sound like a bitch we can't really change that so honestly you've got the tips I know it was a short video it's a quick video I hope you guys liked it but choose which one works for you try different things you'll find something that you like Comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, and like Chris Jones says, holla back at your boy. <laughs> Peace.